Alta is coming to Apex Legends Season 21 and we already know a lot about her. So let's break down everything about her from her backstory and lore to her rumored abilities. To begin telling the story of who Alta really is, we need to go to the firing range where we'll find a giant Nessie. If we pick it up, the description reads, a strange Nessie, it doesn't appear to be of this world. Just like many have rumoured, Alta does indeed seem to be from an alternate reality, and it may all tie back to Wraith. Setting to prove that theory, we just have to take the Nessie and throw it into the Wraith portal. And out comes a Mahjong tile? More on that later. But for now, this connection to Wraith is really important to explain who Alta is. This might be a surprise, but Alter and Wraith may already know each other really well. We can find that out by going all the way back to season 13, at which point one small moment in an Apex comic revealed Alter to us almost two whole years ago. Another mercenary. I knock a pistol out of her hand, but she comes at me with a glowing gauntlet on the other. She holds her gauntlet against my blade. Our strength evenly matched. Neither of us is going to give until... Dr. Blazy? My arms suddenly feel weak. I stare down the mercenary from the end of my blade, her eyes wide and haunted. I finally take her in. A burn scar on her left shoulder trailing down her arm, disappearing beneath her gauntlet. Something inside tugs at me. Do I know her? She shrinks in on herself, trembling as she drops to the ground. No, 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 please. Dr. Blazy, leave me alone. Please, please. I'm jerked behind cover before stray bullets whiz by. I turn to see Mirage massaging a sore spot on his side. That an old friend? She hits hard. I look back into the haze at the mercenary, my head feeling scrambled by all the other wraiths. The light of her gauntlet fades away into the smoke. I... I don't know. The comic heavily implies that this other person might well be Wraith herself from another dimension. And we know how very possible that is because the very first stories from the Outland cinematic showed another Wraith appearing and saving the Wraith we know in our universe. First blood. Should have seen that coming. It gets very confusing, but Wraith's experimental abilities allow her to travel between dimensions where there are potentially an infinite number of other Wraiths. So it's really plausible and fits right into the lore that this new altar is actually Wraith from an alternate dimension. Fitting name for a character, right? And we can actually prove this theory even further, but to do that, we're going to have to delve into spoiler territory. Before we do that though, I just want to break down this potential theory. It may not be that Alta is actually Wraith from another dimension, but instead one of her test subjects. Remember that Mahjong tile? Yeah, there's a rumor that Alta may be a Chinese legend. And if that's the case, it doesn't really match up with her being Wraith, considering Wraith isn't Chinese herself. So the alternate theory could be that Alta is actually one of Wraith's test subjects. She used to be a scientist that basically worked on creating this phase tech. But I'm not sure how that stacks up in the lore, because from how I understood it, the only test subject was Wraith herself, but maybe there was another test subject we didn't know about. So we have these two alternating theories. Which one do you think might be right? I'm not entirely sure, but for the remainder of this video, when I mention alternate Wraith, I mean either an actual literal alternate Wraith or one of her test subjects, because we don't quite know the answer. It turns out we've already seen an image of Alter out on the internet. I am not going to post the whole image here. I don't want to spoil too much here but I do want to showcase this theory even further. So I'm going to show a very small portion of this new Alter leak, just her hand and her arm. It's important to bring this whole story together. See this here? She has a gauntlet on her left arm, just like the character in the comic. So yeah, looks like Alter really is an alternate wraith from another dimension. Trouble is, this Wraith seems to be very, very messed up. It's so much like the alternate of Wraith in every single way. Let's take a look at all the teasers that showcase that before we jump into Alter's rumored abilities. Firstly, listen to her evil laugh at the end of the Octane Prestige skin trailer. She's also graffitied all over the trailer itself and graffitied over the Apex social pages. Not only that, but she's graffitied all over the Apex website and made a joke about most of the legends. 
My theory here is that Alter is actually a little bit more experienced at traveling through dimensions than Wraith, and all this stuff is a bit of a fourth wall break. I have a hunch Respawn is going to go full into this and give us a show that suggests Alter is even breaking into our own dimension to have fun with promoting herself joining the Apex Games. In fact, Alta may be so strong with her interdimensional powers that she's even capable of bringing the entire city of Olympus from one dimension crashing down into Broken Moon in our game's dimension. And that will set forth the map update for season 21. And with Ray's dimensional technology being blue, she has blue portals, it seems like Alta's will be green. We can see that a lot in the promotional art. All of her logos and graffiti is this green color. The portal in the teaser over Broken Moon is green. So yes, it seems like she has green phase technology. All right, enough with the confusing interdimensional phase technology dimension stuff for now. Why is Alta even joining the Apex Games? And what about her abilities? Well, a good theory I'm hearing online ties into the current Horizon lore. Horizon just recently got her hands on the Time Gauntlet, a device that can travel back in time. Yeah, the same one from that really awesome Titanfall 2 level. I should mention that it can travel back to the future again, so, you know... It has this going back and forth capability. And for some reason, I guess Alta wants to get her hands on it. We're not sure why she needs time travel, but an evil sounding legend with the ability to travel through dimensions and time sounds kind of dangerous. So let's hope Horizon doesn't give this thing up easily. Although she's already been portrayed once by an evil legend. So uh, let's just hope she's learned her lesson. So now we have the whole rumored backstory and a good idea of why Alta is joining the games. Besides that, all we've got to talk about next are her abilities. Any guesses for what they may be? Well, we don't have to guess hard because they've literally been posted online. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that doesn't want to be spoiled. But I do want to talk about them because it's an interesting look at her abilities and they're going to pretty much be showcased tomorrow anyway in the trailer. So let's take a closer look and break down of what her potential abilities are. Now, with all sort of like leaks and overviews and data mines of legends, a lot of this stuff is subject to change. So all of these abilities could not actually come to Alter's kit. However, it does give us a rough idea of the direction the developers wanted to go with Alter. Like I say, this is kind of spoiler territory. No, it's really spoiler territory. So if you don't want to hear anything about these abilities, you don't want it to be spoiled, that's your call to, uh, you know, leave the video now. Okay, you're still here, so you probably want to hear about these spoilers. I accidentally stumbled across them scrolling through Twitter. It just becomes the way when social media is so sort of responsive to showcasing the stuff that you like. Uh, you end up getting leaked and teased all the time. You see everything when you don't really want to. Anyway, old disabilities. Passive, apparently, at least in this old leak, was called Gift from the Rift. Can remotely interact with a death box to claim one item. Cannot be armor. So it's kind of like a portable Loba alt, but you can only get one item from each death box. Sounds like a potentially good looting ability. Uh, it doesn't really fit with the rest of her kit surprisingly void passage which is her tactical creates a portal passageway through a surface so this was actually like a in test ability for revenant a very very long time ago where you could phase through walls seems like she can now do that we don't know if it's something other players can take advantage of or it's something that only the altar that activated the ability can use but this is going to offer some real good counterplay and makes it fit into the role of perhaps a skirmisher legend and Alta's ultimate is called Void Nexus. Create a regroup point that all allies can remotely interact with to open a phase tunnel back to that location. That also sounds quite like a skirmisher ability to me. Quite similar to Race Portal. It allows players to move quickly uh, together and reunite. Sounds pretty interesting. But uh, there's a p the passive part does seem a little bit out of place. So I'm wondering if that will change. Once again, all of these abilities are subject to change. And we don't know how true they are. Maybe somebody just made them all up. Uh, either way, that is Alta's kit. That is Alta's abilities. Now all we have to do is wait till tomorrow to see the Alta trailer. And we'll also, of course, get to know a bit more about what's coming in Season 21. So, what are your thoughts, my friend? Are you excited for Alta? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you there. Cheerio!